Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be making some char siu chicken wings, which is basically a Chinese barbecue chicken wing. Most of the time you'll see them do this with pork, but I'm doing it with chicken today. And later on I'll probably do it with pork also to show you guys how it's normally done. But here I got some fermented bean curd. That's where they get the red color from from when they try um making the barbecue pork. And this red color actually comes from a fungus they use to ferment this. So that's where that color comes from. But a lot of times they'll probably just use red food coloring in theirs to make it this color. But this is a more natural way. So that's the way I'm going with today. So I used a cup of it along with some of the juice that's in the jar. And here's the jar right here. It's the brand I went with today. Okay. Two. Fung Chung Bing Curd. <laughs> That's the brand I went with. But you go whatever brand you can find, or if you can't find it at all, just use some paprika. That'll work too. So I'm gonna couple that. And then for the rest of the stuff, we're gonna do equal parts. Oh, let me smash up the bean curd first. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. That needs to be smashed. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the juice in. Let's get a little more of color. Okay, that's okay, good on that. So now I'm gonna use a cup of honey. And I got raw honey here. Use whatever kind of honey you have. I just like to use raw honey because it has propolis and pollen in it. So it'll help with any kind of like infections, bacterial infections or whatever. Just like taking penicillin. So it's best to go with this kind of honey. And feel free to shorten this recipe if you're using, if you're making something smaller. But I'm using a bunch of chicken wings. I think I got like eight pounds. So I'm making a lot of marinade. But if you're not using as much as me, just shorten it. Use about half of what I'm doing. Then we got some poison sauce. There we go. Use a cup of that. Also equal parts. whole jar actually <laughs> get the rest of that out and the whole little jar <laughs> you can find hoisin sauce anywhere they have it at Walmart and Asian grocery stores it's easy to find the only thing here that's hard to find is probably that bean curd and the rest of it you can find it just visit your local Asian grocery store. <laughs> then we're gonna put a cup of soy sauce. Everybody know what soy sauce is. Okay. Then we're gonna go with a cup of rice cooking wine. Let's see if I get this show it real good. There we go. Get you some cooking wine at the Asian grocery store. Find it. This is the Chinese one. The Japanese one, they make two different kinds. One is real sweet. It's called Mirden. And the other is sake. You don't want to use those. Use the Chinese cooking wine. Equal parts. So a cup of that. Also, now this is not going to be a cup of this. <laughs> this is going to be a lot smaller. But I got some Chinese five spice powder. 
that's just a mix of different stuff they, they like to use. It has cinnamon, fennel seeds, star anise, ginger, and cloves. We're gonna go in half a cup of that. That dog outside was shut up. <laughs> I use half a cup of that. And then we're gonna go with half a cup of sesame oil. It's easy to find too. Okay. Half a cup of sesame oil in. Then I have eight cloves of some big garlic that I purchased from the store. We're going to grate in eight cloves. So I'm going to use my microplane grater and just grate it right on the end. If you don't want to grate it, you can chop it in. That'll work also. Just try to chop it fine. I don't want any big pieces of garlic in it. You know it can burn while it's cooking. Okay. That's all I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Okay. Okay. I'm done with grating up that garlic. So just mix everything up. I just went ahead and did it off camera. <laughs> uh, sitting there grating forever. Maybe they a good mix. And then we're going to add this sauce on top of some chicken wings and marinate it overnight. Um, I think I'm going to probably... If I have any Ziploc bags left, I'll put it inside the bags. Or you can just put it all in a bowl or a pan. You know, whatever you like. You know, I think I might put it in my pan. That'll probably work out better. So I'm going to go ahead and use my pan to um, marinate the chicken wings in. And I'll show you guys that. Okay, you guys. There are the wings. I'm going to go ahead and pour the marinade over it. Like I said, we're going to set this up to uh, marinate overnight so the marinade can get good and deep in there. And I'm probably going to um, bake these in the oven, but feel free to throw them on the grill also so they can develop a nice flavor. But these are a little too small for the, for the grill, for my grill. So they'll probably just fall right through the grates. So I'm going to bake them. But um, feel free to get the larger wings, you know, where the drum and the flat is attached to each other. I throw that on the grill so it won't be falling through. That'll work. All right, so I'm going to cover this in some plastic and I'm going to set it in the fridge. Let it marinate overnight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, you guys, my wings have been marinated overnight. So what I got here is my long pan that I lined with aluminum foil. Because this marinade has some sugar in it from the honey, so it can easily burn. So you don't want to have to be scrubbing the pan of burnt sugar. That's going to be horrible to try and clean that. So we're just going to put some foil down to prevent that. And this foil, just so it won't stick to the foil itself, I'm going to put some corn oil in here. Prevent it from sticking. Put some corn oil in and just 
I use my brush, but I just use my hands. That'll work too. Rub it all over so it won't stick. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm gonna put our wings in, minus all the marinade, <laughs> cause then your wings just end up steaming. So just put them on in there. Hopefully, I can fit all these wings in here. Um, if not, I'll just do it in separate batches. I think it's always going to fit. I still got some in my pan, so I'll just put them separately after I'm done with this batch. Cook them separately. And also, as you can see, I still got a lot of marinade in here. I'm going to need some of that for the glazing. So I'm going to pour it in a little pot and just heat it up to boiling to kill off any chicken germs that's in here. Because you know you can't eat marinade from with raw chicken in it. So we're gonna um, boil it to kill off any bacteria or whatever. And we're gonna use it to glaze the wings. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven. I got it preheated to 400. These wings probably gonna take between 30 and 40 minutes to cook. So halfway through, flip them. After about 20 minutes, flip them over. Cook them for another 20 minutes and make sure you're glazing them in the whole process. Which I'm gonna show you guys when we get to that part. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven. Okay, you guys, here's my marinade. I put it inside of my ramek in here so I can glaze the chicken as it's cooking. So to that, oh yeah, forgot to mention, I boiled it too. I boiled it for probably about 10 minutes to make sure all the bacteria from the chicken is cooked out. And I'm gonna just squirt some honey in here while it's still hot. Squirt a few tablespoons in, that's fine. Or however much honey you would like, okay. And that's all there is to it. So while the chicken's cooking, I'm gonna baste it in this marinade mix I just made, and that'll be it. Okay, you guys, chicken has cooked halfway through. It's been in the oven for 20 minutes. That's how it turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our marinade on there. The mix that we just made, just rub it on each wing. That's it. I got on camera. Just keep on rubbing. And I also got the the rest of the wings in a smaller pan that it marinated in. So um, halfway through, I'ma baste them. But well, this is the halfway point right here. I'ma baste them and I'ma rotate them after I baste and flip them. So I'ma rotate the position of the pans. Yeah, that's all it takes. Just keep on pouring some marinade over it. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. And I'm going to go ahead and flip them and baste them again. And rotate the pans. We want to cook this until it gets like a nice dark charred color to it. Yeah. Alright you guys. Okay, you guys, the wings are now done. They're fresh out of the oven. I kept basting them like every five minutes just to make sure that the glaze gets good and on there. And it's the end result. And see why I put that aluminum foil at the bottom of the pan because the glaze has sugar in it so it can burn. And the wings are delicious. Here's the other pan. The wings turned out great. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up for you guys so you can see the final product. Okay, you guys, I got it on the plate right now. So, 
we're gonna garnish these since they look so delicious already <laughs> all right we're gonna sprinkle on a little sesame seeds now give it a nice little nutty pop to it and some green onion some chopped green onion just sprinkle it over the top you don't have to have a lot it only takes a little bit yes looking good yeah don't that look good all right you guys that's the end of my video make sure you like comment subscribe for more and please share my videos you know it helped me get Get help get me out there. I'm getting a little tongue tied. Sorry, <laughs> but um, yeah. Thanks you guys so much for supporting me, and I'll be sure to keep the videos coming and make sure you return for the next one. Thank you. Bye.